Hey guys, I'm making a video here. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. The reason I don't have my camera turned towards me is because it just, it's a one stage camera. You know, if I got it this way, that's the way it stays. If I got it looking towards me, that's the way it stays. But I want to show you guys some stuff here. But I want to talk, uh, I was talking to you guys about a few things. Um, right now, it's nice and warm outside and if anything was to happen say an economy collapse a war martial law and you had to you couldn't stay in your house and you had to leave you know let it be the desert let it be the swamps let it be the forest the mountains wherever you guys are going to bug out to you guys are going to run everybody's going to run into problems number one Nobody, I guarantee you, if you go look in your preps right now, you might have one or two cans of bug repellent. That's not going to last you, keeping the mosquitoes and the ticks off of you, because it's going to be, it's even going to be in your sleeping bags, and in your tents, or whatever you got. You, you can't buy enough repellent to keep those, keep them off. And I was talking to a couple of guys, and they, they um, said, well, we got a, one of them says they got a pull-behind tractor. Another guy says he's got a small RV, and they've got like four or five bottles of um, propane. And I said, well, that's not going to last you guys for long, because if you heat with it and you cook with it, you're, you know, then you're warming your water up for showers. You're going to go through that pretty quick, especially, you know, your extended family you're taking. People don't think about that. I mean, there's alternative ways to make it. Let's get back to camping. Or say you, you had to leave. Right now, boy, it's it's beautiful out here. It's nice. and It's nice. But come fall time, it's going to get colder. Night's going to be colder. Then winter time, it depends on where you're at, it's going to get colder in hell. And there's going to be snow on the ground. You're not going to be able to stay in your... A tent you're gonna have some type of shelter built let it be a little hunter's camping hunter's cabin just shack thrown up with stuff you can find um, you're gonna to have to have a way to heat inside and me uh, a buddy of mine gave me a um, he was redoing his well and he gave me the bladder container for the well so i took that and me and my brother we cut it and we took the bladder out and i had some fire brick laying around and i put the fire brick in there and i converted a couple of um old bed railings into the stand and it's inside i would walk in there but the kids are raising hell but that thing i've had it four years my average bill in the summertime is about two two twenty because we run the lights and I mean run the fans and the AC. In the winter time, my average bill is about one fifty. And because the only time I run the heat is at nighttime or when we leave. Rest of the time, I've got that wood burning stove, and it will run you out. There's several times I've had to open the door in the middle of the winter time just to get some cool air in. Think ahead. Another thing you can use, let me get over here, is a 55 gallon drum. I've got a couple of these. If I needed to, I can cut, you know, I, I can cut here. So the fire, put a fire in here, knock a hole in the top, run a, run a pipe up and out. And I've got a, a good heater, you know, to keep, keep warm in there. Another thing I can do, I can cut cut it in half. That way I have two sections. I can convert I can have two small heaters. Or I can have you know two places where I can wash clothes, heat water and wash clothes. Or if I cut it this way, you know, long ways, that's big enough. I can put over some hot coals or small fire and have a small bathtub or a bigger place to heat up water and wash more clothes just think about 
what you can use instead of going out and buying. Because if you go out and buy you a used stove, you're talking $200 to $300. Then you don't know if it's cracked, if it's going to hold the heat, or what. Um, another thing is, getting back to the propane. You know, they're talking, well, my propane. This, I found this on the side of the road. It was a, it's an old propane. I brought it home. I gutted it. Took all the guts out of it. I cut some tin, old roofing tin I had. Put it on the bottom for fire barrier, you know, to help help with the heat. And I cook wood. I smoke on this thing. Uh, hamburgers, hot dogs. That's the best tasting stuff. It's a lot better than propane or charcoal. Again, charcoal and propane, it's going to cost you money. Wood don't cost you a dime. You should pick it up anywhere. But, uh, you know, and if you can't find one where somebody's throwing it away or giving it away, go to your local scrapyard. You can buy one before they crush it up for four or five bucks. Another thing you want to get you is a cooking grate. You know, you can put over a campfire. You can either buy it. I think they cost like 15 bucks, something like that. I've had this a few years. If you're a welder, if you know somebody to do it, they can probably make you one a lot cheaper. You want to have cast iron skillets. I mean, I didn't bring all mine out, but you need a couple of cast iron skillets, a Dutch oven. Another thing I've got, I've got some, I think they're three to five gallon stainless steel pots. Um, I'm going to put those on the fire. That way I can boil up three to five gallons worth of water at a time where I have, you know, clean drinking water for coffee or soda or for um, sports drinks or tea or whatever. I don't have to keep dealing with it. Um, another thing, I mean, just kind of use your head. If something was to happen and the lights go off, or if you had to go out to um, the woods. You get food by fishing and trapping. And if, say, you have a small garden, you know, you, you plant a small garden, you're going to have to can it. Then you're going to have to have a place to keep it, you know, keep the meat fresh or cool. You're going to have to build a small little root cellar or root cellar, whichever way you want to call it, you know, in the ground to keep your food preserved, you know, keep it at a cool temperature. Another thing, there's a big truck coming, hold on guys. All right. Another thing you're gonna need is a, a small um, smokehouse. I mean, there's a hundred ways of making smokehouse. You can have cold smoke, you can have hot smoke. Um, just get on the um, internet, get on YouTube, and type in how to build a homemade smokehouse. Boy, that you got you can make them out of filing cabinets, you can make them out of refrigerators, you can make them out of wood, you know, build your own. But you're gonna have to have that. And the difference between a cold smoke and a hot smoke house, the hot smoke house, the fire's inside, and it's actually cooking and smoking the meat at the same time. A cold smoke, the fire's outside, and it's being driven in through a pipe, and it's smoking it. It's, it's killing the bacteria. The, the, the smoke's killing the bacteria. But you still got to cook it. That's the difference between a cold and hot smoker. And me, I plan on, you know, making... I, I got an old refrigerator that I picked up, and I'm going to convert that into a cold smoker. And I'm going out and getting me some um, cedar post, and I'm going to start building me a um, framework for my small, you know, smokehouse, hot smoke house. And probably use some of that cedar and stuff for a small root cellar. I mean, everybody says, well, you're doing all this work. What happens if you have to leave? If I have to leave, I have to leave, but wherever I'm going, I'll have the knowledge to build it 
where I'm at. It, it's just keep thinking about how you can do for yourself and not spend much money. Use this money for other things. Um, another thing I want to touch on real quick is antibiotics. You know, I've done a video about me being short on water and um, antibiotics. You need to go to a, um, we've been going over here to uh, a pet shop and we've been buying fish antibiotics. It's the same thing. We had some uh, amoxicillin and I took some fish amox out. It's the same pill, the same writing, everything. It's the same exact. And I was talking to the guy at the pet shop and he says it's the same thing. It just says don't, not for human consumption. He don't know why. It's the same exact pill. So stock up on your antibiotics because if you go to the doctor and say you need penicillin, amoxicillin, this and this and that, he's going to he's going to look at you like you're you're nuts, especially if you tell him you're saving back. So you can go there. Yeah, they're a little expensive, but you know, if you or one of your kids get sick and and another thing, know which antibiotics is for what symptoms. Because we're not doctors. We're going to have to guesswork a lot. So that way, and write it down. That way you know if you got this antibiotic, it's for like strep throat or, or, or hell, nasal congestion or something like that. I, I don't know. But just make sure you put down what each antibiotic is used for. Then if you or somebody you know or one of your kids come up with those symptoms, you can start giving them the antibiotics along with the cold medicine or whatever medicine you have. But I'm just kind of, it's kind of a little long video, but just use your head and store back. You know, I, set, I cut and sell firewood. I've got a whole pile of it. You know, I'm getting ready to start splitting more. I'm running, I'm running low because people's been wearing me out on firewood but i keep a lot back for me too and firewood is a good trade you can barter it you can sell it by cords or ricks or half ricks or bundles you know a lot of people's too lazy to go out and do their own wood or a lot of people are too they they might not be able enough to do it you have a you know you can trade you can sell that's another good thing to know and to have. But I hope this is, video's kind of informant, you know, and it kind of opens your eyes and opens your mind and gets you thinking about way, way I can, way you can do for yourself and not spend a lot of money. But anyway, guys, you have a good one, and I'll see you again.